All right, welcome to part two uh, for our uh, Access Chapter 3 Grader Project assignment. So it says, add a calculated field in the second column, name the field total revenue. Interesting. All right, Control-C to copy that. Uh, name the field. This field should multiply the quantity ordered from the order table by the unit price for that item from the products table. Format the formatic field. Okay, we'll get to the formatting in a minute. So let's get to here. I'm now going to come to this uh, first blank column, the second column. I'm going to kind of right click and select build so we can get the expression builder. I'm going to control V to put down exactly what it's supposed to look like full colon. And we're doing quantity ordered by unit price okay so quantity ordered so we're gonna go into this file into this table into the orders double click quantity come back here to the top box click expression hit the delete key because we're not building an expression uh, times unit price and that's under products so price per unit, there we go. Uh, double click that and click OK. And there we go, we've built that. Oh, whatever, this field should multiply, yeah, okay. Format the calculated currency, change the caption. All right, so I'm gonna change, highlight that. Control C, currency. All right, so this field being selected, I have the property sheet for that. I'm gonna come here to format. Down arrow to currency, and in caption, control V, total revenue tab, just to make sure that's entered. And next step, change the total for row to field sum. All right, so right here where it says group by, I'm gonna click the down arrow, change it to sum. Uh, and there we go. I had to calculate field in the third column. Name the field total cost. Again, I'm gonna copy and paste and make sure I get it exactly the way the server is looking for. The field should multiply the quantity ordered by the unit cost. All right, I think I got it. All right, so I'm gonna click here, right click rather here, build, and paste, full colon, and file. Tables, orders, double click quantity, click expression, delete key, click after, times, uh, products, cost per unit, double clicked. Okay. All right, so format the calculated field currency, caption total cost. Oops, nope, nope, there we go. Currency, oh, cost. Okay, so coming up here, currency, caption, paste, tab, just to make sure it's entered. Uh, change the total row to sum. Some run query save return. So some run save design view. So group by sum run. There we go. Take a look. Looking good. Yay. And then back to design view. Add the order date field and criteria to the field so only orders made between 7118 and 123118 are displayed. Ooh, that was very nice of them to put the type that in for us. So more on that in a minute. Change the total row to where? Okay, yep, yeah, we'll continue on in a minute. So I believe I have a 
notepad open here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of this wording right here because it's exactly what Access is looking for between uh, date and date. Copy, Control C to copy, Control V to paste. So I can edit it here. I'm going to put pound signs, now called hashtags, on the dates. There we go. Highlight, copy, come here. And, oh, but I think I'm missing something. Yes, the order date field. Yay. Uh, orders, order date. Click and drag to here. There we go. And then for criteria, I'm going to hit paste. And so you'll see it says between hashtag 7 slash 1 slash 2018 hashtag and hashtag 12 slash 31 slash 2018 hashtag. And when I hit enter, It'll capitalize the words between and and, which shows us that uh, Access has picked it up as the expression for the criteria. Change the total to row to where, yes. So it will basically activate that criteria. Uh, run, view the results, save and close. So run. There's the results. There we go. And then save and close. Right. Create a copy of revenue and cost by country, query named customer page. So revenue and cost is going to get copied customer payment. So right click. Oh, it's not on the video here. Let me bring this down. Right click, copy. Right click somewhere else. Paste. It's prompting now for the name. So come back here and double click there we go customer payments and paste and okay uh, and customer payments switch to design view all right Customer payments, double click it to open it. Design view. Remove country total cost order date. Country total cost order date. All right, so you see I have the downward pointing arrow. I can now click to highlight that whole column. Then come up here to delete columns. Boom, gone. There you go, see it's gone. And total cost order date. Right, so again, looking for the downward pointing arrow, click and jag, drag to highlight both of those. And come up here and delete columns. And they're gone. Add first name and last name failed. Let's move the total revenue field to the end. Rename, okay, we'll come to the renaming here in a minute. So add first name and last name. All right, it wants total re revenue to the left. So there's no harm, actually, the way to do it is to grab first name and put it, you know, hanging over to the slightly to the left of total revenue, and boom, it'll put it in. To Now last name, last name I will put off to the side here so that you can see how you can just, when you get the down arrow here, you can click highlight and then oh, click the highlight and then you can drag it over if you need to move its location. Personally I just put first name and last name in ahead to the left and then you're good to go. Move total revenue to the end. Rename total revenue order total. I'll highlight that and change the caption to order total. Alright so I'm going to double click here and 
and then control V paste and order a total is good to go and come up here I'll type it this time order space total get rid of revenue tab to enter that and this ends part two please look forward to part three